What's up boys and girls? This is Spit Logic and today I'm going to do an album review. The World Is Mine is the latest album by KRS-One. Like with any album review, we're going to go over the beats, the quality, the lyrics, the theme, and the standouts. What is it about this album that makes it unique and should you get it? So let's start off with the beats. So the beats on this album, they're good. They're good. I wouldn't say that they're great. The one thing about KRS-One and one thing that I always feel is that he is the worst at picking beats. His beats don't always grab me in the same way that his lyrics do. And I'm not really sure if this is because he picks mediocre beats or he picks up and coming producers. Or is it really just the fact that I place KRS-One on such a high pedestal that I feel like the beats don't really do his lyrics justice? I will say this. I will say that the range of the beats, the diversity in the kinds of beats that you're going to hear is a pretty wide range. They are pretty distinct between each other and you can tell the difference in the songs by the way that the beats are done. As long as I'm dancing, acting or rapping, walking around like I don't know what's happening, you like me, you like me, you like me. The quality on this album, the quality is pretty good. You know, Karis One has been doing this for a while, so when I listen to the beats and when I listen to the mixing in it between his lyrics and the beats, it's not a bad distinction. I will say that some of the beats do have the brass-like sounds that you hear, the, the levels on those are a little too high, and it's kind of distorted on some of the beats. Maybe it's done on purpose, but for me it was a little bit annoying. There was also one part of a song where they were taking segments out from a person speaking. They were just taking this, this voice track and laying it on the beat, and that voice track was kind of drowned out from the beat. I wasn't really too fond of it, but then again, when I'm listening to a Karis One song, I'm not listening for the beats. I'm listening to what he's saying. So his vocals were done correctly, and then the, the, the jams that did have scratching on it, those were done really well. So I enjoyed that. I'm expressing the talent God gave me, divinity, the devil on every level is jittery. No, I'm not the average MC, I'm the epitome. Lyrics on this album. Harris One is a lyricist, and he does not hold any punches back with his lyricism. One thing about Harris One is that he, he's like an experimental lyricist. He will take a concept and he will take it and just drag it on throughout the song. He's one of the few rappers that actually deals with themes and deals with concrete concepts in every song. You can listen to a Karis One album and you know you're going to get history. You know you're going to get some metaphysical type of viewpoint from his lyrics. And then you're going to see him play with a word and or play with a phrase and use that phrase throughout the entirety of the song, which is pretty catchy and is very unique. He's been doing it for years now and he's not going to stop. And I enjoy it. Yo, Tupac once asked, is there a heaven for a G? Well, now there is word, because he's up there to see. Moving around, he's chilling with Prince and James Brown. So the theme of this album. What is the theme of this album? It is a KRS-One album. So you are going to hear a mixture of everything from politics to religion. But the core foundation of every album that you hear from him is I Am Hip Hop. This is a hip hop album. This is another hip hop masterpiece. When you look at KRS One's history throughout decades, I mean, we're talking we're talking about thirty years into KRS One's career, he has not missed a beat. He has not lost a step, and he has remained very consistent in the fact that he represents hip hop. He promotes hip hop culture, and he is anti-establishment. You're going to hear him talk about the government, talk about the establishment, and talk about the ills of society and asking the question, why? Why do we allow the society to dictate us? Why do we allow these certain things to dictate us? And we should go counterculture, which 
is the core, the foundation of what hip hop is. Hip hop is not popular. Hip hop is not what everybody's doing. Hip hop is within you and it is contrary to what everybody's doing. So what stands out about this album? I can't really say anything stands out that doesn't stand out in every KRS-One album. You go from a range of different beats, a range of different concepts, really a good eclectic mix of guest appearances on the album, and you have just this very unique album that you can't say is the greatest album of all time, but you don't, you don't, you can't dismiss the fact that it is a good quality album. The lyrics will have you drawn in. I don't think the beats are necessarily going to have you drawn in, but this is overall a really good album. And when I hear him rapping over anything from a traditional hip hop beat to a more modern type of beat to just a few sounds put together and then making a beat over that, you know that Karis one has that range and he has that ability to look at everything as a challenge and to go straight forward into those challenges to create a concept of a song which builds into an album. So putting all those things together, I have a composite score of a 4.35. This album is awesome. This is a KRS-One album. He is one of the greatest of all time. He may be the greatest MC of all time. I can't think of another artist who has had a longer career in hip hop than KRS-One on the music side and what he does behind the scenes. He has created a culture and has legitimized hip hop and this album is no exception to that. I think that KRS-One should continue to make albums. I hope he does until the day that he passes away. It will be a sad, sad day in hip hop. He is not someone that you're going to see on Twitter. He's not someone that you're going to see all over YouTube. He's not someone that you're going to see on MTV or, or in the movies. But everybody knows who he is. Everybody respects what he does. And he is consistent with everything that he's done since his first album. So those are my thoughts on the album. Let me know what you think. And until next time, talk to you later. Peace.